Hello, and welcome to Ask Dr. Stacy. I am Dr. Stacy Cooper, health and wellness expert at drstacycooper.com, founder of Lifestyle Balance Solutions, creator of the Healthy Eating Blueprint and the Balance Living Academy, and author of the Healthy Feels Cookbook. So thank you so much for joining me today on my third episode of um, Nourishing Your Spirit is what we're going to be talking about today on our live broadcast here. So I welcome you for joining me and um, you can be sure to ask any questions in the live chat here. I can see them right on my screen as you pop them in. So I see we have viewers on the line here already. So go ahead and ask anything that you want to hear about health, wellness, balancing your life, energizing your body for better body function and enhancing your vitality. These are the things that I teach. I am a mother of four teenagers in our household, a wife to my husband, high school sweetheart, Dean, and a chiropractor in Brantford, Ontario. And we are also um, creator of the Lifestyle Balance Solutions. So this is something that I have brought forward um, after having my own health issues and finding my way back to balance in my life. And part of balance, you can find me. Here we go. Hopefully that uh, shows up on your screen there. You can find me at drstacycooper.com. And at that website there, I invite you to um, check out our free two-part video series called Eliminate Your Five Hidden Energy Drainer. So you can go right to the website, enter your name and email address, and that will immediately put into your inbox my two-part video series. They're just three minutes and five minutes, so not long at all. And you can uh, view that, and it will show you how easy it is to begin to get your health on track. And uh, one of the things that we were talking about was caffeine. And one of my clients this morning that I was speaking with um, is trying really hard to get off her coffee. Um, she's tried different milks and it wants to get rid of the dairy, has used um, uh, almond milk or coconut milk, tastes terrible. She says, I can't take it without sugar. And I suggested to her, I said, well, go ahead and make it without the sugar. Then you'll end up not drinking it. And then you'll get off the caffeine right away. <laughs> She said, oh, but then I get the headache. So she is definitely addicted to caffeine. So then I suggested, make your coffee, pour out half of the cup, add half a cup of hot water to it. So now you're diluting it a little bit more. And that way you can gradually go in baby steps to wean off the caffeine and then avoid that whole headache cycle. So that's one of the tips. And I also talk about eliminating caffeine as an energy drainer in that two-part video series on the website. So I do encourage you to check that out. So today we wanted to chat about um, nourishing your spirit. And it is really important to find things that you like to do for yourself because when you're always giving to others and always giving of yourself to others, then you really can find yourself in a place very depleted and very unfulfilled and just your batteries have completely run out. And it's when you recharge your batteries through your own self-care and um, putting yourself first, this is not being selfish. This is then enabling you to provide that much more to those around you at a much greater capacity. Because when you take care of yourself and recharge yourself, you then have so much more energy to give to others. So it really is truly about giving. So um, one thing that I do uh, encourage you to do is explore new things, try different activities, and just find your way to um, different things that you didn't even know that you would be capable of doing. And one of those things I have come to love and always wanted to be an artist, never was an artist, have always been uh, the medical scientific mind and uh, not the creative side. And I couldn't even draw stick figures to save my life. And what has recently opened up for me is a thing called Paint Night. And they are available all over the place in many different venues, many different localities. And it really is truly fun. So the first time that I went um, was with a friend. I invited a, a bunch of friends to come with me. And um, it was a barn that we painted. And I thought, oh, I can, I can do a barn. You know, it's fairly straight sides. I can figure out a box and, and get that taken care of. But what truly transpired over the course of those two hours was a wonderful painting. And I had brought it home and um, left it out that night on the kitchen table. And when my youngest, Jake, 
showed up in, in the morning to come down to get ready for school. He saw the painting there on the table and he said, oh, mom, that's a nice, nice picture. But what are you doing? You know, spending money on art like we don't have any more wall space. What do you you know? And he was kind of and I said, I did that. And he looked at me and he said, you painted that because he knows that I have no artistic ability within me. And so we were both shocked. And as each of the kids came downstairs and, and saw the painting, they were all really shocked. So we have done it together as a family. We're going tonight to do another paint night. The boys are going to paint with me and my husband's going to paint with me as well. So I'm really looking forward to it. And what was something new that came up is this. And I have actually created this. So I'm really thrilled with how it turned out. I never ever thought I would be able to paint a peacock. Lo and behold, I can and I did. And anybody can. So when you start into something new, it really nourishes your spirit because not only the success that you have in trying new things, it fuels your brain, but also the creative process of fueling your brain and just getting information into your head. And so when you try something new and actually succeed, even in baby steps, that just gives you so much power from within, which then drives you forward. It energizes you. My grandmother, she lived to be 93 years old, and she always said, so long as you learn something new each day, then you can um, take the rest of the day off, is what she said. When you learn new things, then it does keep your mind active, which keeps your brain engaged, which keeps it functioning much better than being stagnant and just watching the boob tube, as they say. So it really is important to nourish your spirit. So find whatever it is that you love to do or what you might want to experience as something new and challenge yourself and engage yourself. And welcome, Nicole. Thank you for joining us. And I appreciate your comment about my piece of art. <laughs> so another thing I will share briefly with you is another passage from my journal. We talked about journaling yesterday and um, the importance of journaling and getting ideas down into your um hard copy so that it comes out of your head and into fruition and then it, you can take your ideas forward from there and they actually become concrete and then pliable and then applyable to things that you want to challenge yourself with or things that you want to explore or directions that you want to take. And so I just happened to glance through this briefly before we were going to start this broadcast and um, I came up with this. Uh, things that make me happy. So just write down a list of things that you enjoy doing or what you would like to do. For myself, it's riding my horses. That really brings me joy, peace, and comfort, and it just clears my mind. It's a wonderful thing. Playing music. We learned to play the piano um, 14 years ago, so I was 34 years old. Um, that was really something else that I challenged myself with and enjoy doing. I'm um, spending time with my family, doing puzzles, playing games, skating, playing hockey with them together. So find out what makes you happy. There may be things that you didn't even use before or experience before that will make you happy. So branch out to something new and different. Now, perfectionism and trying to have control creates more stress and it distracts you from happiness. And happiness is what we are all after. So let go of perfectionism. And I will admit I was... Um, this was one of my issues, right? Always having things to be just so and just perfect. When you let go of that and you just allow things to be and to happen, that brings you so much more freedom and happiness. And let your true authentic self come through. So one thing I will encourage you today is to step forward and set your intention. What I want. Live in the present always. Be present for the people you love. So don't be multitasking at the dinner table. Not a good idea. Be present for those that you love. But look to where you want to be. And when you reach a decision and points in your life, then life, stress, and tension pushes. But vision pulls. It is much nicer to be pulled rather than to be pushed. So life, stress, and tension pushes. But vision pulls. So when you have a vision and something that you want to do and experience, 
that is then going to pull you forward. So work within your vision, see what nourishes your spirit and help to pull you forward into your next step. So I enjoy you, invite you to join me at drstacycooper.com. You can check out my website. Lots of free health and wellness information is available there for you. You can also receive the two-part video series, Eliminate Your Five Hidden Energy Drainers. Just go to drstacycooper.com. And thank you for joining us on Ask Dr. Stacy. And I will be here every weekday at 1215 and look forward to chatting with you, sharing with you, and opening things up for you to balancing your life with enhanced vitality and better body function. So we will chat next time tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.